What's up, everybody? This is Vince Del Monte. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Skinny Guy Savior. I'm taking your questions off my Facebook fan page. We'll do them in 60 seconds or less today. And I've got five great questions here. We'll bang them out. And uh, the first one goes to Jane uh, Van Gel. Jane wants to know about recovery. What are strategies for faster recovery, apart from nutrient intake, that is? And can you give a few tips to sleep better? Thanks. I appreciate it. The easiest and fastest way to increase your sleep quality is to start supplementing with magnesium. About an hour before you go to bed, uh, do some research on what dosage would be appropriate, but that will help reduce cortisol, helps reduce magnesium, uh, so helps reduce stress, which is gonna in turn help you sleep better. That's a big one. In terms of recovery, I'm a huge fan of tissue work. Um, everything, you know, tissue work in, in reference to, um, Essentially, a lot of muscles get sticky as we overuse them, and they create adhesions. So, uh, an MA, a, a, a MAT, or a, sorry, an ART therapist, active release therapist, a massage therapist can do tissue work to ensure you have healthy tissue and ensure your muscles are moving properly and they're not pulling your joints in wrong positions. That's huge. I'm also a big fan of stretching daily, 20 to 30 minutes a day. And also, um, you can't neglect the need for time. No recovery method can overwrite the importance of time. Next question goes to Neeser. If you're a really bad case of an ectomorph, what supplements and workouts should you take do to get the best results of getting bigger? Gosh, Neeser, you gotta be on my, uh, you gotta join my newsletter, vincedelmonifitness.com. I give out daily information on this specific topic. You're in the right spot being here on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Watch all the content here. Um, you know, in terms of um, workouts, you definitely wanna get on, you wanna, you know, uh, a more of a low volume, high frequency workout, such as no nonsense muscle building, which stimulates the muscles on a regular basis. I like starting beginners off with full body workouts in terms of supplementation, a great way to gain weight, uh, increase um, strength very rapidly is um, creatine. That's a great creatine monohydrate. And um, obviously nutrition, but we'll, Assume that uh, you're gonna watch some of my videos and start learning about that. Next question comes from Alex Romero. Uh, should we be taking breaks from lots of supplements uh, such as whey, casein, protein, creatine, BCAs, pre-work, so avoid damage to our bodies or our liver. Uh, yes, all this stuff presents a load to your liver. The big thing is to stay hydrated. I hear everybody say, I drink a lot though, I drink a lot. Uh, I actually recently had my blood work done and I had a couple things that indicated uh, that I wasn't drinking enough water. So um, I was shocked because I'm one of those guys that goes around telling everybody else, oh, <laughs> you should see how much water I drink. Um, so I guarantee you're not drinking enough water. In terms of protein, you can definitely recommend rotate around your different proteins. So you don't have to just have uh, you know milk protein, but there's you know different kinds of proteins out there like egg and soya and pea and plant. So you have different protein sources throughout the course of the year. Uh, that's one thing you can do. In terms of creatine, BCAs, I wouldn't worry too much about those. Just have them on your training days though. Um, but um, again, hydration is your big one. And I recommend everyone drink around three to six liters of water a day measured. Don't, don't eyeball it. <laughs> all right. That's like eyeballing all your food and thinking you're hitting your macros or your calories. Okay, next question goes to Jeff. Jeff says, the best, safest way to get the dumbbells up for a flat dumbbell, dumbbell chest press. Uh, can we do this on the spot? Oh, cameraman's got it today. He's got the, what do you call this thing, Dave? The slider. The slider. <laughs> He's got the slider. All right, visualize this as a flat bench. Uh, it'd be the same if you're on an incline. I'm gonna grab these massive 15-pound um, dumbbells, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so first things first, uh, we remove the weight safely from the rack. You're gonna rest them on your thighs, all right? From this position, we're simply gonna use gravity and a bit of inertia to get them into our starting position. And I use one thigh at a time, and, and I'm bringing my wrist up to my elbow. And this takes just a little skill. Uh, if you're starting with light weights, you'll be fine. And here's how it looks. One, two, and we bring them right down to where your wrists are over top your elbows. And we've got a stretch in our pecs and we work from here, okay? 
and we think about shoving the elbows together. All right, so once your set's done, the best way to rip your shoulder apart, rip your bicep tendon, is to go like this. Oh! <laughs> but seriously, to do this garbage, or to do this, or to do this, every time you see someone do that in the gym, go save them a trip to the doctor or a shoulder replacement and tell them to do it safely by bringing their elbows in and sitting up. So it's basically like a weighted sit up at the end. All right, even from this position, I lower them one at a time. You know, most people get injured when they're, you know, doing something that's like completely unrelated to what, you know, their, you know, that the, the heavy activity that you think would injure them. It's like someone walking up the stairs or, you know, putting down their dumbbells. You know, their heavy set's done. You think they'd hurt themselves in the set, but it's like, it's at the end. It's when you're in extreme ranges, when you're lacking control. So the most important word you take from this video is control. Make sure you control the weights for every second, all right? Until they're safely planted on the floor. And you'll never injure yourself. If you're in control, you will never, ever get injured. All right, next question goes to Jonas Sanderman. He says, hey Vince, I'm just finishing a bulking cycle and transitioning to a cutting cycle. What do you think of metabolic resistance training or CrossFit for cutting cycles? Or should I stick with a bodybuilding type program or even go into more of a neuromuscular workout? Hope you answer this, love your show. Jonas, this is an easy one. What's up, Jay? Um, good, buddy. Um, so the, the answer here is, um, we've got a fitness model in the house, folks. Uh, so the answer is very simple. You stick to a bodybuilding type program. I'm not a fan of uh, metabolic resistance training or cutting cycles or even um, neuromuscular workouts when you're cutting, uh, primarily because it wasn't the mechanism you used to build the muscle in the first place. So typically what happens with the CrossFit kind of workouts, cutting workouts, is that the loads that you use to build the muscle get reduced substantially because now you're doing these crazy circuits and short rest periods and complex exercises so you tend to soften up you tend not to say it's hard and in some cases some guys even lose muscle um, the idea is to maintain the same stimulus to your muscles that you use to build the muscle as while you're cutting if you I mean if you look at pro bodybuilders uh, if you look at the biggest physiques in the, on, on the planet you don't see them transitioning from a bodybuilding workout and all of a sudden they're <laughs> you know, going to CrossFit gyms to, I've got a show now, better start doing CrossFit. I got a show now, better start doing some circuit work. Um, what I do with my bodybuilding workouts is I get close to a show as I reduce the rest periods. I do introduce a little more supersets. I do introduce a little more metabolic expenditure, but I'm still doing your traditional bodybuilding exercises. The workouts are very similar. And that's why, you know, like we teach all of our students that our muscle building workouts can be used when you're cutting. They can be used for fat loss because our students are looking to maximize their muscularity, their fullness, they're looking to stay hard. So why would we put them on a completely different protocol that built that size and that helped you bulk up in the first place? Does that make sense? I think I've answered this a number of times before, but uh, um, that's, that's the route that I go uh, with all my students if that is the goal they want to achieve. All right, guys, thank you for another uh, great round of questions. We'll see you guys next time. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do that right now. And uh, be sure to stay connected on the fan page. Over the fan page, we run a lot of contests, do a lot of cool free giveaways, and, the, uh, and we do it only for Facebook fans, and you have to like the page. So check that out as well so that you don't miss out on a thing. All right, we'll see you guys next time. I'm Vince Delmar.